So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse this week. And for this week, she has a bunch of stuff. Uh, she has Line Tamer, which is literally just this. It's whatever's. If you are wondering why I'm wearing the full armor set, I'm going to do the re review literally right after this video. Uh, the Pragmatic or Pragmat Harrier, which I think looks really cool. I just don't know if I give enough of a shit to buy it because it's like how much is it it's 2000 bright this you can eat the fucking deepest part of my ass uh pyramid entrance which is whatever is to be quite honest uh chrome stock which i actually really do like this uh shader it has uh like a very blue chrome or i don't know what color chrome is Either way, it has a very blue chrome it to, to, to its look. You have copper here, and then you have the cloth, which has a very, like, uh, I don't know, like, f fibrous look. Like, you can see the lines in, in it, so it's pretty cool. I definitely recommend this one just, just because it's not a shader a lot of people use. Uh, for the other ones, we have the Straw Dog Standoff, which is pretty cool. Uh, I, I always do enjoy the three-player emotes. Uh, for the ghost, we have junk Junkyard Shell, which is pretty cool. Shader is really good, actually. I was expecting it to have like very like all the rust change colors as well, but that's pretty cool. Uh, one fell swoop for the sparrow, which looks basic as fuck in my opinion. And then the helmet, the Nemean cask, and all the classes are getting the their Nemean helmets. So this is the final week, as in like. That's it. We got all the armor. I will do the review literally right after this video. So if you are interested in that, I will have the link in the description below uh, when the video comes out, obviously. Looking out emote, which if you want to be a peeping Tom, I guess you can do that. And then the symbol of rule, which is literally just a shader change. It's nothing new. It literally just changes it to blue and or white and this brown, not brown. Green, I don't know what color this is. Olive uh, crow projection, which I'm not even going to look. Celestial Dome. Let's talk about Celestial Dome. This is a very white and chrome look. I actually do like this look a lot. And it also gives you a slight bit of purple. So I would recommend this if you're trying to go for a chrome look. Uh, there's other chrome, uh, armor sets that do chrome a lot better. There's a lot of other shaders that do chrome a lot better. Specifically one from Gambit, if I remember correctly. From like Forsaken. But this one's still pretty good. Especially if you want to like incorporate some color, which is like the purple. Uh, Deep Sea John, I am not the biggest fan of this one, although I do like the color combinations. I just don't think I would ever be able to pull it off myself. Um, it gives you this really like desaturated red, I don't know, like desaturated, uh, dark. Either way, I really do like this color. And then a really good blue, a navy blue, if I remember correctly. Like this is pretty good. It's just, again, I don't think I can make it work, but that doesn't mean you can't make it work. Uh, Vertigris, which is a really good green shader from Season of the Drifter. I I like this just because of the contrast between like the the really rich uh, I don't even know what this is like green blue with the very light green blue. I actually do like this com this combination a lot, and it also gives you a very dark uh, copper if I'm if I'm if my eyes aren't dumb, which I wouldn't be surprised if they are. And then last but not least, Nectar Dynamo, which I don't like the shader at all. I've never liked this shader just because it, there's purple, blue, and red. It's just too much happening. Uh, personally, I just don't like it. And then brown for some odd reason. So I would recommend Celestial Dome, Deep Sea Jaunt, and Vertigris. I would say you could wait on Nectar Dynamo, but these three for sure, specifically like Celestial Dome, just because this one is from Season of, or not even Season, this is from Forsaken. So that's like a while ago that's like three no two or th two three expansions ago i think maybe two two expansions ago because it's beyond light and then shadow keep yeah so definitely recommend celestial dome uh that's pretty much it guys there's something else happening this week aside from like crucible has uh team scorched the uh vanguard or the nightfall for this week is the hollowed layer so if you want to get killed by screebs for sure and then all of the stuff for today is on the lost sectors are on the moon so specifically the legend lost sector has the chest armor and the master lost sector has the arms so 
go buck wild other than that unfortunately like i said we don't have any seasonal challenges anymore just make sure you finish your own seasonal challenges so you can get the seasonal bulk which is like if i remember correctly like six thousand to three thousand bright dust i don't remember off the top of my head it's most likely three because bungie's fucking stingy but let me know what you guys think in the comments below i will have some more fashion videos to come specifically the review for the Nemean armor sets. I'm going to be doing that right now. The Warlock Threads of Light entries video is probably going to go up tomorrow. And then I'll probably have other stuff. If you are looking to, for me to make other videos in Destiny 2 or any game in general, I would love to hear from you. But other than that, I'll see you guys later.